I mean, you just heard it. The first real taste of winter looks to be heading our way next Monday, which means you have about well, four days to whip your yard into shape and get it ready for the winter months. To help us do that is Tina Serling with Western Gardens. Tina, thanks for getting up with us. So we've had a nice stretch of fall weather, but we know that all good things must come to an end. Let's talk about the critical things people should be doing with their yards right now to prepare for winter. Maybe we can start with fertilizers. Yes, if you're going to fertilize this is the most important fertilization for your lawn of the year. If you're not going to fertilize any other time, do it now. And what I would suggest is I like to aerate in the fall because then the mess doesn't get tracked into the house. But whether you aerate or not, cut your lawn short, like an inch and a half. That helps keep down the, uh, the molds that can develop under the snow and water really well, not just your lawn, but everything else needs to go into the winter really well watered. And then put down a fertilizer. We've got a regular old touchdown 2536. And then we have my favorite, of course, because I'm an organic type, an organic fertilizer. But whichever you put down, put that down now and think about maybe turning off your water. If we're gonna get all this snow and stuff, you can probably shut down your sprinkling system now. And Tina, you mentioned the aeration, that there's also a tip after you aerate the lawn to, to take some compost and spread it out over. And why would you do that? I like that because that kind of keeps those holes open so that the worms can go into the holes and so they don't come up and make great big bumps on your lawn. And it just keeps the soil from collapsing back into those holes so that the water can go down, the fertilizer can go down. And air can get to the roots. And, and this is also the time to prepare for next spring and think about bulbs, is that right? Yes, exactly. It's a perfect time to plant fall, uh, spring bulbs that you plant in the fall. They need the cold weather to bloom, so that's one of the reasons why you don't see a lot of tulips and daffodils in Southern California, unless they've been pre-chilled. So we've got hyacinths, tulips, daffodils, all different kinds of bulbs that you plant now for that incredible spring splash of color. And the last question, is now a good time to plant uh, shrubs and uh, perennials uh, for the season? This is a, it's a perfect time to plant shrubs and perennials. The roots get established during the winter and then you can see some real growth in the spring, especially with perennials. With trees and shrubs, you probably won't see a lot of growth next year. They'll be setting their roots. But the following year, you'll see incredible growth. Okay. And again, make sure that if you plant perennials and shrubs and trees this fall that you water them in really well and if we don't have snow on the ground dump some water on them every month or so this first winter season. Good tips. Tina Serling from Western Gardens thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. All right. Great tips this morning. Great ideas especially yeah. in light of the forecast and what we have coming our direction.